Defending against speed ups from an opponent that's attacking from right in front of you can be one of the most important and also most difficult skills in all of pickleball. Of course, you can work on training your hand speed, but in today's video, I'm gonna show you how we can attack this problem from a different angle. Make sure you watch till the end of this video because I'm gonna give you a helpful guide that you can screenshot and take with you next time you go to the courts. Okay, so here's the scenario. I hit a cross court dink. Maybe it wasn't my best dink ever. Maybe I made a little bit of a bad decision on when to hit that dink. If you don't know when you should be dinking cross court, stay tuned because I've got a, a video coming out next week about that. Anyway, I hit my cross court dink over in front of my partner and it's not the best shot I've ever hit. I've now put my partner in one of the toughest positions that you can be in in all of pickleball. He's as close as he can possibly be to another opponent on the court. They've got an easy shot sitting up and my partner has to now defend both sides of his body to be able to react to the oncoming speed up. Today, I'm gonna show you how I can help bail my partner out of this situation. Yeah, that's a phenomenal cover from John Sincola as all four players on the court knew Rob was gonna speed that up and his partner, Allie Phillips, was straddling the sideline, so. So here's how we're gonna use a little bit of court geometry to solve this issue. If I don't move over and help my partner, my partner is stuck trying to cover both sides of his body at the same time. So that means he's gotta read the ball in a split second, react and cover both forehand and backhand almost instantly. Here's how I can help. If I move over to help cover this middle, we're each gonna have basically one coverage. So my coverage is gonna be my forehand all the way up to Carlos's left shoulder. Carlos's coverage is gonna be his body all the way over to his line. So now rather than my partner having to worry about both sides, I'm covering one of his wings, he's covering the other wing. If it's past his forehand, it's out. And from this angle, if it goes over my left shoulder, most likely it's out. So now rather than him worrying about everything, I've got one thing to worry about, he's got one thing to worry about, hopefully everything else is out. That's a good example right there. A really nice cut from the back line, the baseline, and her ability to still find plenty of topspin. Alex Phillips, the aggressor, off the bounce. Yep. That's exa fourth. exactly right. Hey guys, I want to give a quick shout out to Selkirk for not only supporting me as a player, but supporting my YouTube videos as well. Lately, I've been using this Power Air, which is an awesome paddle. Super poppy, great spin, really maneuverable and fast. If you want to see this or anything else that they have, check out the website and make sure to use my code to get a free gift card with your purchase. So now here's what this would look like flipped to the other side. Again, my partner could leave me on an island to cover everything, or he could come over and he's gonna use his backhand to cover middle. I've got my backhand to cover body and line. His right side is most likely out unless it's hit soft, and anything out of my reach is also out. The other option that you can do that you see a lot in mixed doubles is where you see the partner that's on this side, especially if they have a favorable shot. I might slide this way and he's gonna come this way. So now my forehand is covering all that. He's still covering with his backhand. All four players on the court knew Rob was gonna speed that up and his partner, Ali Phillips, was straddling the sideline. So. So now the same basic concept applies if we hit a ball to the middle. We've both got our middle shots covering. Most likely what either of us are gonna do if it comes body is we're gonna slide out. And then again, we're using the outside of the court as coverage for our other side. So if this ball is hit hard over my left side or over Carlos's right shoulder, we know that because the angle that that's on, it's gonna be wide. Speed up through the 
the middle. Okay, fellas. We're playing a little bit early on, and you said it. Phenomenal speed up up the middle and about the mid pace, too. I think he had Rob Nunnery out in front of that counter attack. Really nice play from all four fellas with some consistent dinking and then a nice little exchange from Sincola and Emmerich in the middle of that that was able to be reset. I mean, the number of resets we saw in through the transition zone from Sincola. So again, really the goal here is to try to work together as a partnership so that we're most of the time only having to cover one side of the body. When you start to be in a position where you've got to cover everything, that's when it can get tricky and that's where you can start to get jammed up or have difficulty reacting in time. Don't forget to screenshot this so you can have it saved and take it out next time you're on the court.